Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. I'm the Mysterious JG, and it's time for us to investigate the Cerberus presence on Tuchanka and completely ignore curing the Genophage, because why should we hurry on that? I mean, it's not like we've been thinking about trying to help the Kroken. We can be saving and loading at the same time. Uh, when it comes time to cure the Krogan Genophage, I think I'll probably bring Garrus and Liara. I feel like they should be a part of that. Although, you know, Garrus and Liara... Ooh. Garrus I definitely want to bring along when we deal with the Rachni, uh, just to see something. Let's go ahead and do... Um, Javik I'm going to want to bring along. I don't know. Well, let's bring James and Edie. It doesn't really make that big of a difference after all. I can play around in our little uh, playpen down here, selecting different weapons. I uh, currently am doing uh, submachine guns and no heavy pistol, but we might want to get into our weapons mods. Instead of increasing our ammo, as much as I liked that, uh, enhanced scope I kind of need because of what it does with regards to seeing it through smoke. We'll be fighting Cerberus here. Although, you know, it's not that reliable. So maybe I can just give up on it for the moment and go with the one that reduces weight. Let's see what happens if we actually try to choose all three of our weapons. We got power recharge speed minus 81%. This is with high this is with pistol scope increases accuracy. Minus 48%. See, this makes it way, way heavy. Does does good stuff, but it just makes it a lot heavier. Minus 31%. So this is only level 1 ultralight materials. Down here we've got, like, level 1, but that reduces by 30 I guess they need a 30% reduction for it to make a difference with the pistol. This pistol doesn't weigh as much. What about this? We got a heat sink. It's a bit worthless. We could do ultralights here. If we just work, if we just throw a mod on every single one to make it ultralight, eventually the Tempest becomes practically weightless. Hmm. What's our other mod here doing? Increases damage by 15. Piercing mod. Yeah, that one's just a silly melee stunner. Um. This one actually will change what it looks like. We'll actually get an optical zoom. I might lose some damage in, in favor of the fact that I can press in the, the scope button a little bit like the sniper rifle itself. And this is the same deal, yeah. I'm going to give myself an optical zoom on all of them. This one doesn't have an optical zoom because of its mod, of course. But I'm up in the ammo capacity. Yeah, so I'm not like like giving little boosts to damage or stuff, but I think this combination is going to work out fairly well. And uh, I think this will work for the next mission, too, because we definitely want to be able to use a weapon like this, which has a... It not necessarily, it's not necessary that the, that the uh, damage be low, but something with a high ammo capacity where we can just spray some bullets. We're going to need that on the mission at that one relay. Uh, I meant to go back and check my other people's weapons, but never mind. I didn't get a chance. I probably hit the wrong button. I'm not gonna sweat it. Everyone's been used recently enough that none of them have like upgrades screaming to be uh, handed out. I think uh, 
the plan now is to ignore sabotage. Although it can be fun too. Increase recharge speed, impact radius. Because sabotage does more than just take over the synthetics, it also uh, makes weapons overheat and stops the enemy from using weapons for a while. So we'd probably want to boost that before boosting the other ammo types, because I'm not sure now why we got biotic ammo. <laughs> Again, in theory, it's useful against stuff that has barriers, but uh, now we fully upgraded one ammo type, it feels like that's... And this this goes against barriers, so yeah, not sure what we're doing, even with... Um, barriers and armor, barriers and shields, I guess it's better against stuff with armor. This weakens armor. Either of these ammo types are better against armor than disruptor ammo is, but incinerate, or like the, the incinerate ammo is the really good one against armor. Incendiary, I mean, that's what he's got. She doesn't have special ammo powers at all. But uh, yeah, sabotage is a fun one to boost, but if I'm just using powers against regular enemies, I usually go straight to incinerate. Uh, because it can panic enemies. Yeah, anyway. Me and my giant steroid guy, my, ro my sex robot, are flying with my gay friend to investigate Cerberus. We're gonna have fun. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? You know, one Krogan would be as effective as the three of us. Why can't they just send one guy? Get in there, stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. Get her done, geek, 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 geek. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. Yeah, looks like it. Get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. Let's find the control room for those cannons. Kill anything in our way. Including each other. Did I just collect ammo? How did I collect ammo? I should be at full. Well, anyway. I think I remember this mission, and it's kind of short and straightforward, so. And there's some junk in our trunk that we can salvage. So I can come closer to affording yet another... Oh, hold up. <laughs> we got dead guy here. Keep track of it, Lieutenant. On it. I'm just sort of keeping an eye on this thing right here. It's working out fine. But my guys are getting restless. Oh, see, as soon as I move, somebody pops out. Combat engineer with shields. There he comes. Yeah. Good job. Go team. Just if you like, you guys don't let them flank me over there. I'm happy right here. Might take a minute, but oh, I thought we killed you. Well, you're dead now. But you threw a grenade right where I don't want it, and I ran closer to it in my efforts to avoid it than it would have been if I just stayed still. You know, it's very expensive, so, uh... You could argue that I was better off spending the money other ways, but... The Black Widow is just way the fuck better than what I was using before. I'm I am liking it. Uh, 
Better call him fast. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, you don't. This is my spot. Find your own. You know, James is actually pretty fucking effective with that right or that that gun. Damn it. Stop moving unpredictably. Not even invisible anymore, am I? This sucks. I'm not invisible. <laughs> you're a, yeah, you're a techie guy. I think I can kick your ass. Oh, so they... I guess the plot is that they took over this facility to stop the Krogan from shooting down their bombardment cruisers. Even though nobody seems to know or care about this facility. Well, I mean, that's fine with me. Uh, let's throw down a save. Just, uh... Just for the hell of it, I guess. Just in case, uh... I'm worried that I missed loot. Because although they're not awful about it, the game does like to throw out quest items in the middle of a level, like, you know, the evidence that Ambassador Such-and-Such's son is a, is a hero. You know, I don't think we would have been able to get that, that evidence if we didn't get it at that point. When we were, you know, rescuing the citizens and colonists from... Cerberus abductions. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wander around now. Uh, nothing's gonna happen plot wise. Just yet, junk. Which may, could have included, like, you know, here's the schematics for the thing that some Solarian dude on the Citadel wants. I don't think it did. It could have. But the plot's not going anywhere until we fire this gun. Once we fire the gun, I have little doubt. Eh, more experience. I think we got plenty of meta gel for this mission. Old grid schematics. See, that's some kind of Krogan relic I expected to find. But I think that's exactly. I think that is the the plot thing we were supposed to do for somebody else's plot. Meanwhile, the see, okay, so I was just explaining it ad nauseum, tripping over my words, making things more confusing than needed. But that's exactly what I wanted to make sure I ran around and looked for. That's going to be the schematics that are going to help some dude with their their plot stuff. You also got Ars Aramox Arsenal Gauntlets. They may or may not be available in stores if we don't find them here. But those old schematics we need for that guy's little, you know, side mission would only have been available here. Now, if we don't get them, I don't think it's like, oh, you can't get the optional, the optimal ending. You didn't find such and such. Whatever, but still, if you're trying to be as close to a completionist as you can, you want to find all the little things. Uh, looks like that's going to be it. we got a nice big arena here, but, uh, boy, you know, somehow this, this little choke point that I found over here... Not a choke point per se, but this little spot right here, this worked real good. They run in here, they don't have good cover from which they can attack us. Uh, I think mostly their guys were filtering in. They were coming in this way, and um, James in particular, but I think Yidi also were, were taking them out. But but they can't really surround you, do a lot of damage unless they come from multiple directions, and they weren't able to get over here and flank. There are only two ways they were coming were here, where my other squad mates were covering. They were coming here. I had them. Of course, you know, there was not a particularly high-difficulty group we were fighting, so I might be getting a little too full of myself. But that was a nice little spot. Worked out pretty good. So let's, um... Uh, let's get this thing moving again. We need to get the power back on. 
Oh, okay. Let's move. Now there will be more enemies coming, most likely. Well, it's our position now. I'm gonna try to get back to where I was before. Well, actually, that's not gonna be an option, but. Target Renegade. Edie's, Edie's already down. Hey, no, I'm punching you! No fair, die! Thank you for covering me there, James, because I kind of fouled that up. Oh, well. Oh, a nemesis, eh? I think a nemesis is like a sniper. They don't do too good when you get right in their face. A lot of melee this time. And I never did get uh, Edie back on her feet, so we'll try that again. Yeah, I was just getting way too cocky based on how that last uh, round of combat went. Yeah, you do got resistance, buddy. I'll give you that. Keep getting right on top of them and fighting them. It's not how you're meant to do it when you're a sniper. Yeah, James, I think, is basically winning this fight much more than I am. But they're still going, rah, 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 so they're still up there. Did that get closer to me instead of farther away? Yeah, so why aren't I aiming at them? I blew your freaking head off! Oh, it's somebody else's health meter that I then saw. Sometimes you blow someone's head off, and then another health meter shows up, and you're like, what the hell? But it's actually because there was a bunch of dudes concentrated in one spot. Sorry, I wasn't trying to kick you out, Edie. I just got a little caught up on that crossfire. Somebody take him out, please. Thank you. I'm not even using my cool sticky gun. Maybe even though it's a wasteful to use the ammo this way, maybe I'll just do that right now. That was a very wasteful use of the ammo, but it was still fun. This little timer thing, in case you decided to uh, do this while there's still enemies wandering around. I've rerouted the power to the main. Console. I've rerouted the power to Trumpy. I should have let Shepard finish speaking before I jumped in with that obvious callback, but... So there's gonna be new guys ahead, or...? 
Yeah, it's gonna be new guys. Get back and yeah, back and cover. Okay, this is why I would have needed the smoke thingy. Thingy that lets you see through smoke. Damn it, I thought I had him. That time I did. And now he did. Getting a little bit better with the grenades. I think I'm just taking them more seriously as a threat. Though I t tempt fate every time I take credit for something like that. pretty hot and heavy here. I think I'm getting a bit better at the game, and I think uh, the Black Widow's helping me out a lot, too, because uh, there's a guy right behind me, and I think James is, like, the guy I need to be using, as opposed to Javik, who has awesome biotic powers that, you know, you have to, like, manually make him use them. The AI doesn't like to use them, it seems. Damn it. Got uh, multiple EDs. Commissioner T Tony will not be pleased. They're getting grenade happy here. I guess I can't blame them. I'm uh, sticking in this one spot and hurting them. And you got a turret that's betrayed you. I can't be good either. I'll take it out. I think it served its purpose. got incoming. Actually, we're not moving. You guys are dying, though. I'll, I'll give you that. Oh, that... Seems like he was able to kill that guy right through his shield. It's pretty sweet. If that's a, a function of the particular weapon he's using. Yeah, you got a man down. I'll give you that. Their numbers have thinned out. The only stragglers that remain haven't been able to find their way down here. Get down, get down. Or not. Or I could be completely wrong and there's a whole bunch left that has spawned in a new place. Oh, he's exploded in gore. I got wounded. Okay, I got this. If you guys take care of the other entrances, I will miss this combat engineer. That's what you wanted, right? Target Renegade. Oh, he set up a turret up there where it's not going to help, and I keep missing. See, I'm waiting for them to charge down. If they do that, they're dead. And they seem to have figured this out. And are therefore reticent to do so. On 
Am I going to get killed if I come up here? It actually does seem like a pretty risky way to approach. Now I'm coming from the other side. Looks like I can shoot through that. So that's pretty cool. They know I'm here now, and James is making it rather obvious as well. I thought I had a shot on him, but I... James just took him out. I didn't need him. I didn't need a help. Maybe I distracted him. Give myself credit for that. This would appear to be it. So that went fairly smoothly, I thought. I might want to start learning to enjoy James's, uh, you know, not a not altogether unpleasant personality. I think if James had been around since the first game, we'd be as fond of him as we are of anybody else. But, um, yeah, he was kicking some ass in that battle. Maybe I should be giving more credit to Edie, but uh, it seemed like James and that... Uh, Geth assault rifle were really the ones that were doing the damage. Commander, cruiser initiating bombardment. Cannon control restored. Targeting enabled. Coordinates, Lieutenant. Uploaded. Firing. Yeah. Yeah. Total wave. Direct starboard hit, Commander. Target breaking up. Repeat. Direct hit. You guys rule. Yeah, boy. Good work, everyone. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, <laughs> chest pump. Because <laughs> freaking doofuses. We're doofy. We're the Dauphin of France. Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. Nice. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. Wait, so thanks to Cerberus, we now have the advantage? Uh, you're saying that, like, I guess what they're getting at is that that cannon is going to be useful against the Reapers and stuff, but, like, we wouldn't have known about it without Cerberus? Is that what's going on? I mean, there's a logic to that. I'll accept that, if that's what they're getting at, but... I don't think either of these guys are going to respond to this mission. Yes, Commander. Because I think it's considered... Yeah. That's all. Of course, Commander. I think if I talk to Rex, I won't get anything new either. Let's just check with them while we're here. Uh, because I think for both... The, the, this was a mission from Hackett. Only Hackett has anything to say about it. Nutrient hump. How's your nutrient hump doing? Need something, Shepard? Need a little praise for taking care of that, um... How could there be trouble with the rack? Okay, they I thought maybe he was gonna... I know, I was there. Maybe he was gonna tell us that, yeah, you took too long, my team is dead. Game over here. We need to stop him. So long, That's Rex. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Shepard. Sure, Anytime. Just have to pretend they're saying that. Uh, now we're flush with cash. Well, not flush, but... I could go buy more Metagel upgrades. Oh, that's right. I got him whatever stupid-ass party wanted, and then didn't go talk to him. So they should... They probably want to give me, if not credits, then, you know, war assets or experience. So I should just, you know, go get grab that as long as it's it's coming to me. I'm Odin. I might as well collect. I am, after all, one of the collectors. Oh my God, shock! Yeoman, 
And she's a lesbian, so don't bother her. Ah, hey, that's what she said. Well, perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take the deal. I thought these two were supposed to be fuck buddies. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. I, I, I hope there was some indication of that, and I'm not just like, you know, I don't have <laughs> my own uh, weird fantasies and fetishes I am now externalizing on uh, Daniels and Donnelly. I don't think they're supposed to be siblings. Command, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got. Uh huh. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. She's a lesbian now. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the crucible engineer. Give the word, and I'll send the plans their way. No. Do it. I mean, okay. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Oh, we did get experience. Sweet. And war assets, yeah. Say, so if they start talking about the Crucible, that means you're getting war assets. So that was definitely worth worth the, the trouble. Uh, we can work on our uh, sticky grenades. Wacky wall walkers. Walkers. All right. I don't know. Sticky, like, sticky toys makes me think of creepy crawlers, which was a toy from back in the day. I never really had them. But I remember because you know, like you would throw them at the wall and they stuck to it and they kind of slowly slid down in such a way that it looked like they were like monsters that were crawling. I just remember the theme music is what creepy crawlers. Creepy crawlers. And the those were lyrics I just don't remember but the important thing is that it went creepy crawlers, and which is what I think of with both the pistol that fires sticky bombs and the sticky grenades. They both make me think of creepy crawlers. So there's that. Uh, so we can increase damage for the sticky grenades. Uh, they haven't been using grenades. I, I could probably start. Increase damage even further or impact radius. I'll probably go for impact radius. That's how I tends to roll. Then you can increase your capacity or make them damage armored units. And since I have a bad habit of not using grenades, um, I will probably go with increasing damage to armor units. And, you know, because otherwise I just have like two extra grenades that I'm not going to be using that often. Although I'll try to make myself use the grenades more. And then uh, you can increase da like raw damage or what I'm really after is proximity trap. You throw a grenade and you just completely whiff. You've got 15 seconds for the enemy to wander into the radius and get themselves killed. So if you bring it up to 3, plus bringing it up 2.6, I think you get to, at that point, maximize your radius. But not your damage, sadly. So I'm going for grenades that will not do the mass damage they will if perfectly if thrown with perfect precision every time. I'm making grenades that will do some damage, and I can use them like a grenade spamming moron and still get some use out of them. That's that's how this is going to work. But our next step is clearly to increase sticky grenade. Unless I want to... I mean, I could work on sabotage or, or, or one of the ammos. I think I gotta go with sticky grenade. On level 44, I think we go up to 60. So we will not be able to fill Shepard's whole tree. Um, but if I get to the point where we're not gaining any more levels, and I've got like five power-up, level-up progress points left, and to clearly have misspent them and could have gotten better use out of those five points, because the thing I wanted to max is it's you know it's the six point one that's left. We can spend some money and reassign the power. It's not a big deal. Matter of fact, before it's all said and done, I might just be like, fuck it, I'm going to grab some ridiculous, crazy, uh, psionic power that, you know, in character my shepherd shouldn't have just because I feel like playing around with one. And save the game. I'll s No, no, don't save it there. What am I doing? I'm going to save in a new slot because my whole deal was if we go find out that we blew it and we can't do the... Uh, Hmm. the scout team at the Rachni Relay mission. Then I'm going to want to um, 
load the save game before we even got going on that. Oh, you know, the the, the mid-mission one would have been fine. But, um, yeah, we'll just uh, go back and do that first and hope that, you know, if you had a certain amount of time to do it, that by doing this last mission first, we blew it, and we can load and do the relay one first. And I don't know if I'm even making sense. Uh, point is, next time we're going to do the Geth... Not the Geth. The Rachni relay mission. And, uh... If for some reason it won't let us do it, I'm just going to have to load, and we'll go do it. And I'll probably off-screen some stuff we've already done. But we'll find out next time whether that's necessary on the Mysterious JG. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you there.